the earth is made up of three layers the first one is the earth crust second mantle third core the earth crust we are living on this earth crust it is composed of different types of rocks and its thickness is 100 kilometers the depth is 100 kilometers then earth mantle the thickness from 100 kilometers to 2900 kilometers and it is in liquid position the pliable position in the pliable position the earth cloth the earth crust floats upon this mantle liquid it contains silicates in the molten position the third one is the core the earth core thickness is 2900 kilometers to 6376 kilometers it contains of heavy materials like nickel and ferrous iron again it is sub divided into two parts that is the inner core the second one is the outer core earth crust forms 1% of the volume of the earth the mantle it is 16% of the volume of the earth and core it is 83% of the volume of the earth the outer core is a is in liquid position the thickness is 2900 kilometers to 5100 kilometers it contains iron and nickel then inner core it has the thickness 5100 to 6376 kilometers it has heavy materials like iron and gold it is in solid state for example if we assume the size of the earth is equal to the size of an egg the crust of the earth is equals to the crust or the shell of the egg earth crust forms 1% of the volume of the earth the mantle it is 16% of the volume of the earth and core it is 83% of the volume of the earth earth is still active the earth crust is still being changed by the volcanoes and earthquakes subduction of land rise of mountains etc it is the evidence the matter from the earth mantle shoots up into the earth crust and it cools down and it makes again the crust sometimes some parts of the earth crust enters into the mantle and it becomes molten the cycle is going on movements of the earth crust when we see the shape and position of the continents it seems they are constant but earlier they moved and collided and merged sometimes the mountains rise in and lessen to the land level sometimes basins formed and dried up 
it took place over millions of years in the early 20th century the german meteorologist and geophysicist alfred wegener made a theory this theory is called continental drift theory according to him he assumed he imagined a super continent it is called as pangea it means a greek whole land this pangea was broken into several parts the parts were moved each other and collided and merged then this pangea is broke up into two parts these are laurentia or angara land the second one gondwana land the present continents which are covered in the laurentia or angara land they are north america eurasia and the northern part of indian subcontinent are covered in the laurentia or angara land in gondwana land south america and india australia antarctica are covered in this gondwana land 220 million years ago there was a pangea and it broke up into several parts and now the present continents are formed by this pangea not only in earlier period even today these are moving slowly the continents are moving slowly and still there is a movement this movement is caused by the internal adjustments of interior of the earth 